and welcome back to another Coast Daily Brew. Today I figured we could reminisce a little bit on 2019. I know that we're not done with 2019 yet, you know. I'm not trying to like speed track us all the way to the end of the year yet. Um, I do have a little update for you guys actually though on the Coast Daily Brews that I'll get to in just a moment. You know what, before we just get to anything, I'm just gonna take a quick sip of this because it's starting to get cold and I really wanna drink it. So I'll go into the whole Coast Daily first and then let's tap back into my little announcement at the end of this. So we have today and then tomorrow left of Coast Daily Brews, which is wild. It's also exciting because that means that Utober starts in like two freaking days and I don't even know how the heck we're already at Utober 2019, but here we are and I'm really excited because there's some really fun videos and just like fall festivities going on on my main channel. So make sure you guys go check out that channel, turn on your notification bells, all that good stuff. There will be videos on this channel throughout the month too, but you guys get the drill. But I also wanted to reminisce on 2019 and just talk about how we're kind of at that sweet spot in the year where we know that the next little trail of events in front of us is like Halloween, like Thanksgiving if you're Canadian, Halloween, Thanksgiving if you're American, Christmas, New Year's, just all the goodness of just the ending of a good year and the motivation of starting a new year and all of that. And so in that, I feel like I've been reflecting a lot lately and also too just because there's been so much change in 2019, I've been reflecting a lot lately on this whole year and thinking about some of my favorite memories and just trying to really draw up the idea of what my most vivid memory was. I looked up a lot of thought starters for this Coast Daily Brew season and so my thought starter for today was literally like, my most vivid memory from 2019 is dot dot dot. So before I jump into mine, I want you guys to also answer that down below. So feel free to go ahead, pause the video and go write yours, or you can wait till the end of the video, whatever you want to do. So here's mine. My most vivid memory from 2019, the first thing that pops into my head and it could potentially be because it's also my wallpaper right now is definitely seeing the Northern Lights in Iceland. Hold on, let me turn that down a little bit. There we go. So if you guys have been um, a part of the Coast Crew for a while, if you've followed my main channel, or even if you haven't, um, I have this life bucket list and I try and hit at least one thing on my life bucket list like every single year. It's cool if I don't, but it's just kind of one of those things like, you know, shoot for it and if it happens, cool, and if it doesn't, whatever. And uh, last year, I went and I pet elephants, which is definitely my most vivid memory of 2018 was Thailand in general, but also just, petting an elephant. And this year I ended up going to Iceland after my birthday with Larissa and also Arthur. If you guys were watching my channel then you might remember the vlog. It's very, very beautiful. It's honestly, it doesn't even do it justice. Like Iceland is one of the most beautiful places that I've ever been. But seeing the Northern Lights has been on my bucket list probably the longest of everything. I don't know what it is about the Northern Lights that's always intrigued me and I don't remember at what point in my life I ever discovered the Northern Lights. I just remember even from a young age, like just cold places always intrigued me and it's weird because I hate being cold and to be honest, I'm not a big fan of winter even though I'm a winter girl, like my birthday's in the winter, but I don't really love winter, but I love the look. I love the peaceful serenity that seems to come about when there's just snow everywhere and like everything's just like, you know, snow capped and everything is darker, longer, and like the night hours go longer, the stars are out longer. It's just like there's something about it that's so beautiful to me. And so this year I went to Iceland and it was one of the most amazing trips ever. It was so much fun. All of us had so much fun. But we were trying to chase kind of like the Northern Lights for a while. We had a week in Iceland and we did quite a few things. We went to the Black Sand beaches. Those were amazing. We went and saw some Iceland ponies. We just like, we did a lot. We saw some waterfalls but we only had like two nights left and it wasn't looking very good for us to try and see the Northern Lights. So we were all kind of just trying to prep ourselves that if we didn't see it, it would be whatever, but we also knew we wanted to. So we went out one night and we went and, and saw them and that's actually the first time I ever had seen the Northern Lights is this picture right here, which it's funny because this photo doesn't even really do them that, that much justice. The other photos were better, but we were pulling off onto this like street. It was quite close to, if any of you guys have been to Iceland, the Blue Lagoon. And we pulled off and it was kind of like at first you're like, hey, wait, am I seeing that? Am I seeing that? And then you're like, oh my God, I am seeing like that's a green wisp in the sky. And we all pulled over, turned off all the lights, tried to get all of our cameras adjusted or whatever, but then it just kind of started happening. And then we did capture it, like Arthur captured a lot of it on camera, like 
photo wise because it's really hard to take video footage of the northern lights and so did larissa and then we were all just kind of like i don't even think we talked like i'm pretty sure we all just went silent and just stared and i think the other thing that was so so beautiful about it is that as you're staring at the northern lights it's also just where you are in the world and because there's not a lot of light going on to be able to see them obviously uh you also see just so many stars like so many stars that it's just like there's almost more stars than there are sky and there's something about the sky that's just it gets me every time i literally i tweeted today and i was just like yo Every time I look up at the sky, I'm always reminded that I'm so small and life is so big and I feel that every time I look up. But to look up and see all those stars and then to see just colors like leaking into the sky, there was something about it. It was just so soul touching, I guess. And I remember getting really quiet. I don't think we were standing all together at this point. And this is kind of close to, I think, when this photo was taken. So I was standing here, specifically right there, and just staring. And I was freezing my butt off, but I was also just like, this is that moment. This is that moment that I've thought about. This is that moment that I've dreamt of for so long, where I would look up and I would see like watercolor in the sky. And that is something that I've wanted to see for so long. And then I was just sitting there and it was happening and it almost felt like I had been there before. And it almost felt like I knew exactly that that moment was gonna happen. And then it's like, I just had arrived. It was like, she was already standing there, she being me. And uh, I had just like stepped into her and it was like, here we are. We knew it was gonna come eventually. And now here it is. And it was very just, breathtaking. That's not the end of the story though. The second night we went on, I forget why we went on that road trip. Oh, we were trying to find this area where it was like a rock, almost like a rock formation that looks like a bridge. And if you go watch the vlog, you'll see it. I can link it down below for you guys. But we went out that night and we drove far. We drove really, really far to find this place. And so afterwards we went to this like diner. It was completely dead inside. And this was just, just like the whole, all of Iceland is such a mood, but it was dead inside it was just like this random little restaurant and it was beautiful it was covered in windows and you're out looking over like the ocean and then there's just mountains and just everything is so vivid there and we were eating french fries and waiting for the sun to go down because we figured hey we're in a pretty good spot to probably see the northern lights so anyways we stuck around to watch the sun go down and the sky was just the most beautiful cotton candy pinky purpley blue periwinkle that just like faded into the night and then we started to kind of lose hope because we didn't see them at first and we we're like oh we probably won't and then out of nowhere there was this streak that came right across and i remember looking at it and being like i'm gonna remember this because i'm looking at orion's belt while the northern lights are just like coming in hot it was almost like one of those things where you ever have a moment that's happening and as it happens you're like i know that every time i see this i'm gonna think of this basically i was like this just changed my perspective of orion's belt forever and anytime i look up and see orion's belt i'm just gonna know that that's the exact like place i was looking that was the exact spot in the sky that I was staring at when I saw the northern lights and this time they came in stronger they were like really rich let me see if I can go find the photo if you guys can see that that's Larissa and I do you see the green right here it's probably not showing up very well on camera but they were like oh and the green back there you guys can just go creep Larissa's Instagram too this photo is up on there but it was just one of those things that that was number one like top 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 one on my bucket list and Petting elephants was up there too, and trust me, that definitely changed my life. There was something about witnessing such, like, beauty, but it was beauty in the sense of you're just kind of like in awe of the fact that the whole world exists in those moments, or at least that's kind of where my mind goes, because I'm like, how can we live on this planet where my feet are being tied to the ground by gravity, and there's things like french fries and ponies and mountains and trees and coffee and there's colors that are painted in the sky in front of just like sparkling dots like it was just one of those where you just feel so kind of overwhelmed by the beauty that is life where you're almost just like life is so incredible like life is so beautiful and you're just having one of those moments where you just like you want you just you start crying you know and that's exactly the moment that I would say is probably most vivid for me for 2019 because I think that'll be probably one of the most vivid memories of mine for the rest of my life. It's just seeing the Northern Lights, feeling so touched by them, and then just like 
just feeling just like one little tear of just being like life is so beautiful and so now I need to readjust my bucket list and decide what I might shoot for you know next year but also I want to hear what your guys's best memory of 2019 has been so far let me know your answer down below and then last but not least uh, I just want to give you guys a little bit of an update so if you've been watching or following me on Instagram, I just recently posted about how I, I was pretty, pretty sick because of just trying to do a little, I've been trying to do the most lately and trust me, it's been fun, okay? It's been very fun. Every time Utoba rolls around, I know that it's going to be a little bit of a peak season for me, but this time around, I, I've been making myself a little sick, like physically ill lately, so I've been thinking a lot about this, and I've done a lot of content in the last few months with doing these Coast Dailies, and I am so in love with them, and they're not going anywhere, but I've decided that I'm gonna take November off. I'm gonna take November off from filming Coast Dailies. I'm gonna take November off from just filming in general and I'm just gonna take that month to kind of catch my breath before jumping into 2020 because I have a lot of very, very big, big plans for 2020 and I really wanna hit the ground running with them but I think that I need to just take a breath really quick and um, recenter before the hotness and heaviness of why hot and heavy? I don't know. That sounded very uh, kind of sexual, but very hot and heavy. I, like, why hot and heavy? Apparently 2020 is going to be hot and heavy. I'm kind of here for it. It's not even going to be hot or heavy. It's like the grind, the sparkle, the magic, the what? I don't even know exactly because I'm, I'm going to also take that month of November to plant all those seeds. So Larissa is going to be down visiting and we're just going to basically prep our entire schedule for or what we're planning or projecting into 2020. But yeah, I'm just basically I'm getting to the point that I'm just going to take November off. So there won't be a season four Coast Daily Brew until January. But fret not, there's still going to be some, some videos going up here and there. And the theme that I have for January is really, really fun. So I hope you guys are cool with it. It's just, you know, back to back to back daily videos for three months is a lot. And so I figured that I would just, after Utober, just chill for a sec and catch my breath and uh, maybe make a second memory that's very vivid before going into 2020, but definitely they're, they're, they're not going anywhere. Coast Dailies will still be around. Um, season four is just gonna be on pause for a second. And uh, aside from that, I wanna hear your guys' favorite memory of 2019, so please leave it down below. And I will talk to all of you guys tomorrow in the last Coast Daily Brew for September before we jump into October. Guys, we are in such a train of just so many good things right now. I'm so excited. So, um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys all then. Hopefully it's not too hot and heavy. I don't know where that came from.